What's going on guys? It's your girl Janiqua A and I'm back with another video for you guys today. I'm hoping everyone is doing well and I got my black book out so you know it's about to be a lesson. Alright and today's lesson is about mirrors and the truth exposed about mirrors, right? So mirrors just want you to know come from a fallen realm. Mirrors can be used as portals, which they are portals. For fallen entities, right? A lot of fallen entities and fallen angels live inside mirrors, right? Back in the days, our ancestors never used these glass-like mirrors to look in, um, look uh, at themselves or reflection. They always used natural elements like water, crystals, right? Crystals, right? And and and, and natural sources, right? Because you want to transmute that to something positive but now you know these mirrors are made from silica sand y'all silica sand google it silica sand and silica sand is made up of quartz quartz right quartz and they made up of a lot of low vibrational stuff too so basically they transmuted these amazing quartz that already had a sense of reflection and they mixed it with coal, clay, and other minerals. And that created a portal dominated by the lower vibrational entities, y'all. Look at it as an alternate realm, right? To mimic this one. You one body, you got one vessel. Who's looking at you back? right but a mirror is very very intelligent also mirrors are fully occupied by fallen angels tricksters and genies all right and there's three type of genies y'all it's red genies those the ones that that really live inside the mirror and one of the most evil ones they vibrate at a very very low rate the other ones is blue and green, right? The blue genies, they really like to fulfill the human um, being wishes, but they can be tricky too. But the green ones like to live in filth. So wherever you have garbage, wherever you have um, just bad hygiene, it lives in there too, okay? And one thing about the blue genies, if you look back into Aladdin, right? He had a blue genie, right? But we never, we never really need a genie to like really help us manifest because we are God. We are powerful beings. That's why when Aladdin like wiped off the genie part, he saw a reflection of himself. He is God. So you got to question that too. You can make things happen for yourself moving forward. Like I said, the green genie is living filth. That's why in a lot of cartoons, you'll see something with garbage and it got the little green coming out. They live in filth. They live in mirrors that's dirty, okay? They love bad hygiene and clutter. They also is a spirit of depression. So if you are depressed and you can't really clean up and stuff, you may have a green genie, um, you know, around you where you just need a cleanse. A dirty house, dirty car. Also, they're the ones that talk souls into committing suicide too because they leave you at a depressing state. Be mindful of that. Okay? Also, the mirrors are not your true reflection. It is one being reflected back to you of what those genies want you to see. That's why a lot of people suffer from anorexia. Can't leave the house without makeup. Just stuck in a mirror time and time. It's like, why do you need to be stuck in that mirror? It's like you caught up in a trance. And it's being whatever, whatever those red genies want you to see, that is what's being reflected to you. All right? It's like a holographic mirror designed to keep you trapped like narcissists, right? Or or people that you feel like they think they all that, they love vanity. If you look up vanity, that's a real angel, a fallen angel. You knew that? Go look that up. Y'all gotta do y'all research and question a lot of things. Vanity is an angel, a fallen one, okay? And the numbers that I got as I was reading this was 909, 944, 10 o'clock, and 1032 if that means any significance to y'all all right also look at the horror movie insidious where they had to use a portal for a mirror usually any 
horror movie or something that has to do with magic, always utilize a mirror. That is a portal, okay? The poltergeist, Kanzanian, or Bloody Mary, or things of that nature, low vibrational entities that live inside those mirrors. You got to always stay prepared and be on a high vibration so none of that can ever contact you. Have you ever noticed when shopping, you'll get drawn to a specific mirror, y'all, like thinking it's so pretty and it's so perfect. And you're just wondering, why the fuck do I need to be drawn to that mirror? It's just a reflection. Like you got to question that, but you can't, you want to go by that mirror. It's so pretty. Think again, that certain entity or something is behind that silica sand because it's not real. It's not a real reflection. It's made up of all these things, which is transmuted the actual crystals that's in that 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 silica sand to form a mirror. It's, they transmuted the real crystal into something completely different. Clay and all of that stuff and, and, and what I just told you, silica sand. Mirrors are a magical thing, but low vibrational magic. Low frequency. It is not your true beautiful self that God created. Then you wonder why, you know, being suffer from anorexia, like again, I said, jealousy, envy, comparison, and so on, because they're not happy with themselves. They look in that mirror and they see a completely different soul. You guys are made beautifully. Y'all made exactly the way y'all needed to be made. No one is made exactly the same on purpose. That is, no, everyone is individual. But you get inside these mirrors and you and you see a completely different side of you. That is not you. Again, vanity, when you call somebody conceited, conceited or something, you think about vanity. They stuck up on themselves. They can't get out the mirror. Some people even talk to themselves in their mirror. Who are you talking to? Vanity is actually a fallen angel. You got to be prepared of who you really looking at and talking to and giving your attention to. Especially we in the year of Aquarius. Everything is waking up. Unless you're not vibrating at a high frequency like I am, or a lot of people are, you're allowing these entities to invade your aura into your atmosphere. Atmosphere, excuse me. The mirror, you know, lies to you. The mirror is alive in its own source of intelligence, able to hide in true negative intent. All right? Be stuck in a mirror. What the hell are you stuck in a mirror for? Who are you looking at? Then you start worrying about, oh, I got to change this. I got to change that. You're not happy with yourself. Again, you are made whole. You are made beautiful. Everyone is made differently for a reason. For a reason, all right? Also, we are electricity, right? What restricts electricity? Glass. We are electri el electric beings. We magnetize, all right? We powerful. We like batteries. That's why it's very important to recharge sometimes, meaning to take a step back. But anyway, we are electricity, right? What you think restricts electricity? Glass. Rubber. Plastic and cloth. What's all around our cars? We got to Google stuff. Also, Snow White, that movie. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Blah, 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 blah. Who is she talking to? She knows something that can happen through those mirrors. You are beautiful and intelligent just as you are, collective. But look in the mirror and you think differently. It's like a forced reality there. It's cool to wake up, all right, look in the mirror, boom, boom, boom. You already know you hot shit, because you are. And get up out of that mirror. <laughs> you are God's children, a star. No matter your size, no matter the race, no matter your faults you did in the past, no matter anything. Your avatar, your, your avatar our bodies, right, our bodies, Consist of over a thousand spirits and ancestors. Why you think you're so powerful? You got a whole bunch of ancestors and energy that are backing you up spiritually and in, in, in here in a in a physical realm. A mirror is a house for all these different negative spirits, and don't know, you know, what's coming through. You'll you know, you'll lose yourself. You lose your whole self in the mirror, standing there, everybody rushing you for hours. Hours, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What you doing in the mirror? For hours? You 
done changed your clothes five times. Spirit already told you what to wear the first time. You already knew what to wear the first time. Look at police stations. There's a two-way mirror. You think you're looking at yourself and you clearly not because they're looking at you. Protect yourself. Protect yourself with a ball of energy. Always make, make sure you pray. I pray for everyone on this channel before I even did this. You only got one body, not two. So who the hell is looking at you through that mirror for too damn long, okay? Shape shifting is real. All right? They told me, my, my spirit team told me to use this deck. All right? Mirrors are very a powerful vortex, all right? And also acts as an interdimensional portal. Most portal leads to other dimensions and galaxies and universes, okay? The mirror is the only portal that leads back to us, back to this realm. It like it don't it don't it don't catapult you to another other amazing high vibrational realms. It catapults you right back to this realm. Yeah, look, magic. Yeah, candles. Use that fire to release those things and burn it up. Okay? Some of y'all, some of y'all need to cleanse y'all energy because, uh, you know, regarding stability, y'all looking in those mirrors and thinking like, those mirrors, those mirrors have an effect on your abundance and it don't. It don't. Okay? You know, ask yourself, why the use of mirrors so much in horror movies? What do they know that we don't know? Don't be fooled. You know, we all rising now. Ask questions. Question everything. The myth about breaking a mirror and getting seven years of bad luck. Break those mirrors. Don't be scared to break a mirror or if a mirror break. There's no such thing as bad luck. It's only karma. Or what you put into the universe is simply what you're going to get back. Ain't no... Ain't, bad luck don't, don't exist. It's simply what you put into the universe is what you're going to get back. How the fuck you going to get bad luck by breaking a mirror? That is what the enemy and the low vibrational entities want you to think. They want you to live in fear. You know how much times I made a mistake and broke a mirror and my family go crazy, throwing water out the window? I could have never understand that. They li that's living in fear. Because they know if we start breaking these fucking mirrors and not really caring about that shit, it can't work. That's the enemy way of making sure that portals does, ne does not and never get destroyed using fear-based tactics and me methods on people. Scared. Thinking like if you break a mirror or if a glass break, you're going to get bad luck. No, the fuck you're not. Because if you're good to the people in this world, that is exactly what you're going to get back. Break those mirrors. Don't be scared. No such thing as bad luck. You get simply what you get give to the universe. What you put in is simply what you get back. So ask yourself next time, who the fuck is that looking in the mirror at you? Also, peace to the brother Rashad Jamal. Google him. Very talented. Very talented. Unfortunately, he he he's um, locked up right now for false accusations because he was spreading the word on a lot of things. God bless him. They saying like no one is perfect, right? I used to be like no one is perfect. I don't think that no more. How we not perfect, but we made in God's a split image of God. We may do things differently, but that's the way we're supposed to do it in this lifetime. We all perfect. We are all whole just as we are. No matter what our wrongs are, no matter what you think you did wrong, no matter what your personality is, you are perfect. And I feel like no one is perfect couldn't be further from the truth. Further from a lie. Like that's a, that's a whole lie. Everyone is perfect in their in they own life. We are all sent down to these material, this, this material world and realm, whole, complete, perfection, an extension of our divine creator. Upon your arrival at birth, we were injected with nanobi technology and placed under light codes, lockdown, 
of this damn matrix through this miseducation of social programming, promotion of sex, and violence and drugs and movies and music, departing from our minds through news and the destruction of our temples and bodies through modern day medicine. And the list goes on. We are the creator and the destroyer of our own reality. Look at my last video. We create what we want and we are in control. I have a whole new understanding of all of this now. You know, and we gonna see what these cards have for us. And this is not gonna be a video for a lot of people because a lot of people not just here yet, but that's okay. But for those you, those who are, those are portals, all right? It's cool to look at yourself, but not too long. You already know how you look. Look, a, a feminine, you're beautiful. This is spirit saying you embody, no matter if you're a masculine or a feminine, you embody that nurturing, beautiful self. If you're a masculine, you're handsome. You are just a gift to the world. Everyone gravitates towards you, um, towards you because your heart. If you are feminine, you are stepping in your full power. You are made whole, a divine feminine here. A lady goddess. If you guys were questioning your looks, thinking like you have to have makeup and weaves all the time. Yeah, that's cool or whatever, but not every time. Remember, a lady goddess for the ones that have been feeling insecure lately because you'd rather just stay in the house and chill in your regular self. You are a beautiful. Let's get one more card. Don't let those mirrors lie to you, all right? Yeah, look, the wicker rod, the ethers is a prayer, all right? And it says, in perfect love and perfect trust, eight words the wicked um, people fulfill. Pen ye harm is none, do as you will, and ever mind the rule of three. Where sending out comes right back to you. Follow this, mind, body, and heart. See, whatever you put in, you already know this. You are a divine feminine. What did I just say? Whatever you put in to the world is simply what you're going to get back. In other words, this is exactly what it means. This is the ethos. All right? This is a wicked rule. People that believe in magic know that whatever you put out in the world is simply what you're going to get back. So don't let nobody think, oh, just because you broke a mirror, you're going to get seven years of bad luck. That is a lie. That wants you to live in fear. You are divine. Remember that. The next card out is security. Some of you guys are relying on how you look to form a sense of security for yourself. And spirit is saying you already hold. You hold a lot of strong um, roots when it comes to your bloodline here. Your house is made out of the tree, meaning there's a lot of vibrational energy that surrounds you that is high and that is rooted and that is grounded. Some of you guys got to get grounded, all right, to know the mirror and your reflection. Get a reflection of, of water, look in the water or something. I bet you'll have a whole different you, all right? Do not let your vanity, uh, yeah, look, remembrance. Spirit said for me to do this because they want you to remember who you are. Your ancestors, you've been here many lifetimes. You are who you are because you are strong and equipped to come back to this realm. You've chose to come back to this realm. And now the light is shining bright. Look at all of this glitter around you. Your ancestors is very proud of you. And they want you to know who you are and whose you are. So now you can come back to this material realm and come fuck shit up because you know this is your birthright and this is your royalty and no mirror or no nobody's image of you is going to, to, to make a difference of who you are and what you stand for. Okay, the next one, your alchemist, your alchemist of your own life. Some of you guys literally are really tapped into the divine right now and really are awakening to your powers and your, and your natural state. You know, you guys are shifting away from so much material, materialistic things right now and relying on earthly matters and what Gaia actually supplies to us. 
all right? Cycles. Some of you guys may have been experienced um, depression or something in the moon cycles because people were trying to like use mirror magic and stuff, but that's low vibrational magic. The only way that can ever work for you is if you in a low vibrational energy and state, all right? So I need y'all to pick your vibrations up so that way no one can ever mess with you during these moon cycles and know that every time these moon cycles come around you are in complete control because you are aware and in tune with these low vibrational energies and these mirrors that is made of silica sand that is transmuted these beautiful crystals that what is already a, re a clear reflection and a natural reflection of us and mixed it with so much things to allow these low vibrational energies to live in you and now people can utilize that doing moon magic um in different cycles to tie to get you in a trance and a portal to make you feel depressed or make you feel like you unworthy or ugly spirit saying no no you're not okay at the bottom of the deck look at the bottom of the fucking deck power you are the fucking magician spirit yo this you are the magician no mirror no nothing no no vibrational energies you wear the hat you with the head, and you're very tapped into the divine, the sun god Ra. You are complete. You're getting your your downloads from source, okay? With that, as above, so below. Some of you guys don't need to even be taking pictures no more. Cover your eyes sometimes because you don't know. You gotta protect yourself. You gotta ask questions. Anything you thinking? Sometimes you probably thinking is you're bugging. No, you're not. Act on how you feel. You don't gotta tell everybody how you move either. But you are the power. People can't fuck with you. That's what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing is that people cannot. They actually are very, very intimidated by you. They don't know what's up under your sleeve. Because they know you tapped in. That's what I have for you collective. 